Well, last Sunday was a historic day for whale watching. A record 112 North Atlantic right whales were spotted in Cape Cod Bay. That's more than 20% of their entire population. There's only 524 of those whales in the whole ocean. All right, so this begs a lot of questions, doesn't it? Joining us now to discuss what drove these whales to the Massachusetts coast is Dr. Al Dove from the Georgia Aquarium. Welcome, Good sir. Thank you. Good, good to have you back. Why such a small population, but yet such a large concentration off the Massachusetts All right, coast? so this is one of the most endangered species of marine yeah. animals that we know of. There's just over 500 of them left, and they all occur in sort of the North American waters on the Atlantic coast. So this is a species that the United States is really responsible for because their entire population is between Maine and Florida, a little bit in Canada as well. So. Okay, so let's talk about their migration and then the role that the temperature plays. Warmer water temperatures farther north, is that what we're seeing these days? Yes, very much. And and so that applies to all sorts of species, but especially in the case of these whales, it's about the food that they eat. So the northern part of their distribution in, in New England is where they feed, and the southern part off the coast of Georgia and northeast Florida, uh, that's where they come to calf. So uh, when they're up there and they have these big aggregations, we don't know for sure, but it's probably about food. You say that whales actually play a role in cleaning our air. That's oh, right. That? So yeah, so it's hard to understand, but I mean, you're talking about animals that's bigger than all but the biggest of dinosaurs, and so this is a large animal. And when they uh, when they excrete their waste, it's a lot. And when there's a hundred of them in the same place at the same time, then that little part of the ocean becomes extremely fertilized, and that can help to bring carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and send it into the deep ocean where it isn't going to be uh, contributing to the greenhouse effect. It, do they travel in pods? I believe whales travel in pods, right? Uh, of a hundred at a time. Like, where are the other 400 of them? Is this normal? Right. So it's, it's hard to keep track of the whole population at once. Uh, but they do travel uh, usually in, in uh, mother offspring pairs uh, and small groups, but not groups of 100 plus at once. So that's really probably there's something there in that one place that they're really interested in. And it's almost certainly food. That's really yeah, the two reasons. You, what, yeah. What's so special on the Massachusetts coast? It's going to be food. So in, in the case of, of them, it's probably krill or small fish that they like to eat. Uh, and those uh, populations can be a affected by our changing climate. So there may be some climatic factors that are, that are driving some of this, but we really don't know just yet. Do the food populations, are they not able to survive if the water temperatures get too warm? I mean, why not just stay south? Is it that much warmer that they don't like that temperature where they need it a touch cooler north? Or? Right, so it's actually, paradoxically, it's the colder water that's more productive. That's where there's more food in right. the higher latitudes than there are in the lower latitudes. So they go up there where, where the, the seasonal productivity is really high. So from spring through the summer, they're up there eating away. And so those temperature regimes can drive different um, patterns of, of food availability up there as opposed to down here. And so uh, they're moving around now as the ocean's changing and ocean currents are changing and water temperature regimes are changing. We're going to see more things like this. Overall, climate change is a net negative thing for the ocean and for the animals that live there. But from time to time, we're going to see occasional things where something extraordinary happens because of the changing environment. They're not all negative things. 